Hi guys, today we are turning this little desk area that we created into some shelves because in the past year nobody has sat at this desk even though we've had a stool under there. So Garrett is just measuring the inside of the shelf and then we're going to stain all the wood pieces. The stain that I'm using is Early American by Minwax. It's the same stain that I used on our Easy Farmhouse shelves video. We're using these two by twos to hold the slats in place and the slats are one by threes and they'll be setting on top of the two by twos. I'm just using a terry cloth sponge now to wipe off any excess stain on the wood. So while we're waiting for the wood slats to dry and soak up the stain, we are changing out this outlet and Garrett has turned the power off um, because we don't need a nice little wake up call in the middle of the day. Um, but we're changing these out because I mean, look, gross so gross look at this so ugly so <laughs> we're switching we're putting a switch in um and this we're adding a switch because i don't know why <laughs> and we've got the power outlet we wanted to put a usb here but they didn't have um the usb ones with the gfci, GFCI so we're using just a regular outlet and then we decided to upgrade the cover to the screwless wall plate covers because, I mean, why not? It looks nice. And I think we're going to convert all of our switches to this. Um, however, it's it may not be worth it to you guys because the regular covers are only $0.79 cents and these are over almost $7. <laughs> but I like how it looks. I think it'll look nice and sleek right there. So that's what we're doing. At least in the kitchen. Yeah. One thing we're making sure to do is go through all the electrical and double check all the work because uh, this was a barn before, so we got to make sure that it's done right. And for example, this is a uh, wall outlet near a kitchen if it's not GFCI uh, protected. So I got to go through and change it out to bring it up to code. So we're going through and bringing everything up to code. It looks so much better, except. There happens to be a knot in the wood right there, and it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna get some caulk and fill that in and smooth it out, but other than that, it looks way better than the old switch. Now Garrett is drilling some pocket holes into the ends of the support brace so we can attach them to the cabinets. He's just using a Craig jig. Um, this is a great way to install stuff like this because it puts the screw down the center of the board and it creates a much stronger joint. We'll need four of these pieces so he's going to be drilling eight holes. Normally you would do two holes on each end, but because we're going to have slats on the top that are nailed in, we really don't need two holes because the slats will hold everything nice and tight. Now we've just laid the supports down. We haven't screwed them in. We're just doing a test fit with the slats to see how we like it and also to see how far back we want that bottom support to be. The Mariana Trench. <laughs> now we're ready to screw in the support pieces. For the bottom support, we're going to push them in about an inch so that there's a little bit of an overhang on the slats, but it'll we're putting it all the way down to the ground so that we don't have to have a toe kick here. Now we're just spacing out the slats evenly. There is going to be a little bit of a gap between the slats because we like that look, but you can bump them together. And here we're just using some brad nailers, and I believe these are one and a quarter inch. Garrett's nailing in two brad nails on each end. We're also using the brad nails to have a cleaner finish. Now Garrett is just measuring where the second support brace is gonna be. We're measuring this so that the top of the slats will be right in the middle of the shelf. In the middle of the shelf. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. I'll pop it back. <laughs> All right, wake me up a little bit. I'll get that out. Get the tape 
Okay. Pretty sure I just ruined my shirt. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty loop in space. <laughs> From the snout. So right here is 10. Right <laughs> here is 12. 12 inch head. <laughs> About 20 with the tongue. Like the bottom support, these are going to go an inch in so that we have that overhang with the slats. Now it's time to nail the top slats in and we're done. I like this so much better than just having the desk space here. It seems like a waste of space. And now we have a, a spot where we could store some fresh fruit and our egg baskets when we collect eggs each day because everyone knows that when you have chickens, you need several cute egg baskets. Um, but I hope you guys liked this project. This project cost us about $20. If you're going to need stain and stain supplies, it may be upwards of $35, bucks, but I think it was well worth it. All right, guys, that's it for this project. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more behind the scenes stuff, we do have an Instagram page at Milk and Honey Acreage and a Facebook page at Milk and Honey Acreage. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.